the pressure of having to look a specific way to be a successful person, you know? And if you're right, not... To be taken serious. To be taken serious, you know? Especially if you're not a man. Like, um, if you're not a man, you're any of the others. <laughs> you know? It's, it's, it's a real pressure. And uh, people in a position of authority look a very specific way, right? Like, are you going to take me seriously if I show up like this and teach your chemistry class? Are you? Maybe, maybe you're nodding and you're saying yes, but because I'm here. Uh, but I've showed up, you know, I've showed up at universities and talk like this, and and there's always this like dissonance of people being like, okay, I guess I guess she is the right. the person who's coming because they told me, but why does she look like this? And there's always a dissonance, right? Like the people that are in power, the people that have positions of authority, especially around knowledge. Right, it, they look. They have a spe specific body, and they look a very specific way. The reason, also for me, within the writing community, that I started dressing in drag was because I was like, "You guys were making art. Yeah. We're making art. Why do you think you're engineers? <laughs> the whole point of writing was that we didn't have to be engineers. Exactly. <laughs> you know. And I think that there's this thing with writing where we're struggling to figure out if we are engineers or artists. There's always yeah. writers and artists, and I'm like, but I'm an artist. Like, uh -huh. what is what is this thing? You know? Like, why is it writers and artists? And there's there's this the writer community that wants to be taken seriously as an engineer would. And then there's others who want to be taken seriously as artists. And there's a lot that happens around the body. And I think that we sometimes don't take into account the fact that we all have a body and we're all coming into the space. We're all reading our work. We're all showing up to lecture. We're all showing up everywhere with a body. Yeah. And our body is telling a story and is saying something. And he's telling you, how does a person in a position of power look? You know, who are the culture producers? And like, why Why can't we just talk like this? Like, why can't I just come right. and like teach chemistry and yeah, talk to yeah, me like totally. that? Well, yeah. that's, yeah, that's, oh, that makes me think of so many things. So, so yeah, I mean, we find it, it it's this, this um, unwillingness to, or resistance, unwillingness to embrace or kind of resistance to multiplicity and simultaneity. Yeah. That many things can happen in one body or in one person, that a person can, yeah, can have joy and have aesthetic, can have aesthetic joy mm -hmm. or can love fashion. I mean, this is why I'm so glad the John Waters quote is up there because there's yeah. an irreverence to it and it's sassy and it's saucy, but it's also it like, yeah, why is there not a look for that? And this idea that, oh, to prove that you're serious means that you have to have a disdain for fashion, you know, mm -hmm. and that was sort of also the remnants of kind of second wave feminism um, mm -hmm. when I was a young feminist, yeah. you know, it was kind of like, oh, well, we can't, it's not, we can't care about fashion, that's unfeminist, or we can't, I mean, it was really funny, actually, speaking of John Waters, did it, when he, they played um, a, a couple years old interview with him with Terry Gross, and he was, John Waters was talking about Comte de Garçon, and um, mm -hmm. Ray Kawakubo and Terry Gross had no idea who that was, and it was just funny, I was like, oh, right, Terry Gross like, knows about everything, but she does not know or care about fashion. And it's <laughs> fine, but it's such a funny thing where it's like, I really, I crave elevated discourse around fashion. Yeah. I crave elevated discourse around drag. Yeah. Um, like the discourse can be elevated while we're looking like this. Yeah. And the discourse can be elevated while- Thank right, you. Well, thank you. <laughs> and the discourse can be elevated while you have your, your penis like threaded between your balls and your, you know, performing to Bjork. I mean, this is also why yeah. I want to like talk about this, like the sort of the, the, the this really visceral ways in which um, we, yeah, we all have bodies.